Hi, my name is Steven Weaver, and I'm here to tell you about the new Airstream Travel Trailer. Wally Baum has been building Airstream Travel Trailers since 1931. He actually started in his backyard. He started building them for friends and families, and it took off. So in 1931, he actually went to California and opened up a dealership or a manufacturing plant. He started building in 1931, then he moved to 1952 to Jackson Center, Ohio, where they're built today. I want to tell you a little bit about the construction of an Airstream Travel Trailer. What makes this coach unique, better than anything else in the industry, is this aluminum superstructure. There's nothing built like this coach. What that means is it's built like an aircraft or an airplane. Another cool feature is it has rock guards in the front, so you don't have to worry about damaging your windows in the front with these rock guards. This is Mylar, it's double back Mylar. Another cool feature is it has stainless steel rock guards on the piano hinge. This right here is about $300 to replace. If you replace this piece, it's about three grand. So you definitely want to make sure these are on the coach. Another slick thing about Airstream, it's built like no other coach in the world. Another thing, it has two batteries. Airstream is going to give you two batteries in the coach instead of one. So when you're dry camping, you're going to be able to dock a lot longer than normal coach. Than a normal coach. You have storage in the front that you can get to under your bed and it has compression latches. Also diamond plate, see how it's tucked up? Airstream builds everything nice and neat. It's tucked up with diamond plate, it has lights and access panels in the inside, so it's better built, better finished off than most any other travel trailer. The coat, the, the actual frame itself is, a, is an E-coated A-frame, it's powder coated. It's a, it's a full stainless steel A-frame. What that means is they build the A-frame, then they build the shell, then there's cabinetries. There's three different things that a travel trailer consists of. One is the shell, the other is the frame, and the interior is going to be your cabinetry. So what makes this unique versus anything else is the shell, there's nothing inside the shell that supports the roof. So they build the shell by itself, they build the stainless or this aluminum or steel frame by itself, and then they build the cabinetry by itself. So nothing inside this coach supports the roof. It's a single aluminum superstructure. It has a uh, cover over your LP tanks. It has two 30 pound tanks inside here and it's got a power supply in the front So you can plug in if you wanted to run a generator you could plug in right to the back of your pickup truck It also has an electric hitch and replaceable couplers from Airstream these couplers You can actually replace those at Airstream Nine out of ten other travel trailers that you get if you mess up or damage the frame You're gonna have to replace that piece. You can actually get these couplers from Airstream Another nice feature is the spare tire 90% of the travel trailers have a spare tire that's going to be bolted to the back of that frame. Airstream actually has a spare tire tucked up underneath this coach in the front so it keeps your sun, UV rays, and everything else all the protections on your tire. Now let's walk back here Jeremy, let me show you a couple features. This awning, this is a Sunbrella canvas. This is what you find on high-end Prevo buses, this is Sunbrella. It also has a mildew motor resistant uh, covering over top so it won't have mildew or rot or moisture or mildew buildup. It has an aluminum, aluminum awning cover, and the window frames are unbelievably built. Airstream takes all the window frames, and they weld all the way around. They take this, they bend them, and they weld them at Airstream at the factory. Other manufacturers, they have caulking. You'll see caulk running down the side of your coach. With Airstream, you never have caulk because they actually use an automotive gasket or seal that goes around the windows, so it's nice and neat. Airstream builds a full covered underbelly. If you'll notice, this is all aluminum. So it's wrapped in an aluminum superstructure. So it's going to have better, there's never going to have any road debris. You never have to worry about sticks puncturing your tanks underneath the coach because it's protected with that aluminum structure. If you'll come back here a little bit, you'll notice the finish on this Airstream. It's actually got an automotive clear coat paint on it. Back in the old days, in 1930s, they built them. They have to buff out the polished aluminum. Now it's actually got a clear coat finish on it, so you don't have to worry about buffing it or polishing it. If you want to wax it on occasion, you can, but you don't have to. You just wipe it with soap and water and keep going. It's got LED exterior lights on it, L LED interior lights on the coach as well. So that's something different that Airstream does. Most other manufacturers don't do, especially this when they build travel trailers. Another unique feature is Airstream's build, with the way this, this frame is, it actually has torsion axles. What torsion axles, it's a, it's a, a, a square tubing for the, for the frame tubing that goes through and it has four rubber bushing gaskets that go all the way across the strands. So it takes 60% of the vibration out of your coach when you're traveling down the road, which is a unique feature. Also shocks, 
No one else puts shocks on their travel trailer. Airstream puts shock absorbers on their travel trailer. So it's a unique feature nobody else does. Now, talking about the construction of this coach. For one, it has EcoBat insulation. That's emerald green for a green certified sticker on the coach. And that EcoBat insulation is made out of glass and recycled material. So you don't have to worry about off-gassing for any formaldehyde smell because there's no wood in this structure of this coach. Everyone else is going to have a formaldehyde smell. There's no wood in the structure of this coach, so it's going to be formaldehyde free. Another unique feature, this door. You could talk about this door for days. For one thing, look at the cast aluminum hinges on this door. These are one pound hinges. They're huge. They're cast aluminum. You take this door and it takes Airstream eight hours at the factory just to build this door. It's the best door you can build. Another cool thing is, unlike any other travel trailer, if you notice how this door closes, you see the brackets on the door? Every other travel trailer is gonna have a little tiny latch that goes on the outside, it's gonna shut, and you could just pry it open with a screwdriver. You couldn't pry this door open with a huge barb just because it closes like a safe or a vault door. It closes better than anything else in the industry. It's built like an automotive door. That's what has that door. Another cool thing, one thing Airstream does, nobody else does, is just the, the screen door. If you notice the screen door, they weld the screen door. There's eight welds on the inside and there's eight welds on the outside. No one else in the industry welds a screen door. Airstream does. It's a unique feature. They got a deadbolt on the door. And once again, it slams like a vault door. A cool thing too is if you look at the welds inside the frame, look how thick the welds are beaded in. They weld all the way around this frame, which that's why it takes them eight hours, but they're double welded. It's welded on the top and on the bottom. So it's the sec most secure door you can have in any RV. No one's gonna get in that door. It's just, if you're going to the Rocky Mountains or you gotta worry about bears tearing your screen tent up, you don't have to worry about them getting in this door because it's the best door built. All LED exterior lights, Interior lights are on a dimmer switch, and it's a Zip D awning. The guy who built Zip D's first name, his last name was Duda. That's how they got the name, Zip D Duda. It's pretty cool. The underbelly, like I said, is aluminum, aluminum underbelly. Another feature is all these windows. This window costs as much as the entire set of windows in a box coach at the same size. It's just built unbelievably. You can see how the welds are literally laid in. And all the windows, even over the door, let me show you one more thing up here, Jeremy. Even the door on all these windows, all this is a rain guard. You don't have to worry about rocks or water getting in your coach. Also, these windows open up 70 degrees. So you got a nice cross ventilation. They've been building air seams so long back in 31, they didn't have AC. So now they put them with the same cross ventilation, front and rear. Another reason most manufacturers don't use windows in the front and the rear is because of rain. When you're driving down the street at 70 miles an hour, other travel trailers are gonna leak. In Airstream, they weld the frames. The windows are welded and made at Airstream so you don't have to worry about them leaking. Now, another thing that they do is bezels. No one else puts bezels on their coach. This is an aluminum cast bezel. Everybody else is gonna have some little piece of light that goes in the it's going to come apart. This actually has an automotive bezel. Another neat feature is they have, you got storage in your bumper and this bumper is welded to the frame. This is part of the A-frame. So if you wanted to put a bike rack back here or put something on the bumper, this is actually welded. If you'll notice, this thing is welded and it has skid plates underneath here. So if you're going down and up a hill, these skid plates will protect your coach. Come on over here, Jeremy. Let me show you a couple more features about this Airstream. For one, the refrigerator access panel. It's an easy access panel that's finished off with aluminum. Everybody else is gonna use a plastic and they don't really tuck it off nice and neat. It's actually finished off very nice. And it has a screen protector, so no dirt daubers or bugs or anything else gets in your coach and clogs up your, your drain vents. Another thing is the air condition drip. Where Airstream builds the air condition drip, it, they get a tube that runs down between the skins of the coach. And it actually runs down in front of this tire right here. You see the tube that runs down in front of the tire? That's where your air condition drip goes down. 
so you don't have to worry about streaks and having to wash your coach all the time from the, the water dripping down the side. It actually runs down in front of the tire. Another neat feature, you have an outside hot and cold shower on this side of the coach, which is necessary because your dump tank's on this side. So you want to, if you get something on, you want to be able to rinse it off. Another cool feature, this thing has a black sewer tank flush. What that black flush does, it actually sprays jets down in your black tank and cleans out your tank. A 65 pound pressure regulator is built into the coach. Airstream don't want you to have to bring a whole lot of stuff and everywhere else you'll have to buy one. No other manufacturer or trailer manufacturer that I know of has a 65 pound pressure regulator built into the coach that Airstream has. You have a potable water fill. Everybody else has a plug on the side. You just screw your water hose on and you fill up your tank. This has a lock box on it so you don't have to worry about people tampering with your water. It's also got LED lights down here. If you see your holding tank, you got your pull valves and dump valves. This has a light down here, so if it's dark outside, you can actually see it. And you can actually see where the dump tanks are covered. See the aluminum cover over all your dump tanks and your black tank, your gray tank? All your tanks are covered with aluminum. Another thing that that does, when your whole coach is covered with aluminum underbelly, it takes wind drag off the coach. So the wind either goes around it or over it. So it takes 20% of the wind drag off your coach, so you're gonna get better fuel, fuel mileage in your car. You have right here, this actually has a, a storage compartment for your hose. So you can put your black hose in there when you're done because it's on this side of the coach, it's easy. And you can just tuck it up nice and neat. All the jacks, you get a three quarter inch drill and a socket and you just zip the jacks down. They're gonna be manual because you don't have to worry about your motors going bad with that. LED exterior lights, like I said before. Let's go inside and I'll show you a couple features on the inside. There's some certain features in here that nobody else has as well. One being a residential style mowing faucet. These faucets are residential. They got a marine grade plumbing and fittings inside so you don't have to worry about you know, damage on your, your plumbing or fittings blowing out because most of them are got the old gray pipe. This is actually marine grade fittings. One unique feature too is the cabinetry. All Airstream's cabinets are made with curved plywood. They're either gonna be half inch or three quarter inch plywood and it's curved plywood. They have heavy duty hinges in this coach. All coaches that Airstream builds are gonna have heavy duty hinges. They're never gonna be press board. They're never gonna be beaver puke, we call it. No OSB, no staples. Everything in here is gonna be screwed and glued dowel cabinetry and or hardwood, no, no press board. This floor is actually a 5 8 inch tongue and groove marine grade plywood floor. And around the edge of the floor, is anti-wicking barrier around all the edges of this coach. There's about a foot with anti-wicking barrier that goes around the whole edge of the coach. So they know this, co this coach is beveled a little bit. So if you spill water, if water gets in the coach, it may happen, you never know. It's gonna actually run to the edge of the coach. And when it does run to the edge of the coach, that anti-wicking barrier is gonna keep the wood from rotten. Not to mention it's a marine grade plywood floor. You notice the cabinetry in here, it's all curved plywood, no press board, hidden hinges, and it's got a deep stainless steel sink. This is a huge stainless steel sink. It's got an Atwood hot water heater. It's a six gallon hot water heater, just like normal manufacturers. It's a 18 gallon fast recovery. It's also got an inverter. If you see this little uh, square push button here, it's gonna have an inverter. There are very few options that you can get with Airstream. The one option you can get is solar panels on the roof if you wanna get solar or a power awning, but you can only get it on 25 and up, and an inverter. They use a thousand watt inverter. What that means is you can dry camp and use your TVs. It comes standard on anything 25 and bigger with two TVs. So you can dry camp if you're in a parking lot, Walmart parking lot, sleeping overnight, you can actually use your TVs with your inverter. It's got a 15,000 BTU AC with a heat pump. It's gonna cool this thing off nice and cool. You don't have to worry about it ever being hot in here. Um, Lenny Kravitz actually bought one. He's got an Airstream in the Bahamas. He lives in a 31 foot classic. Sandra Bullock has one. There's several movie stars that have Airstreams because for one, they're cool and they're nice to have and they last a lifetime. You can pass them down to generation to generation. They're gonna last a lifetime. This is a neat feature. They got the microwave convection tucked up nice and neat so you don't have to worry about your microwave being out in the open. You open the door, you close it when you're finished. It's a neat feature. You have a ton of storage. People say there's no storage in Airstreams. There's tons of storage in this Airstream. There's no exterior storage except for on the front, but there's tons of storage on the interior. 
everywhere in here you see the the cabinetry it's all real wood if you notice under there jeremy take a look at how they screw they actually use screws and they router out that that hole for the screws it's a nice and neat feature led interior lights on a dimmer switch you have your stereo radio surround sound this has pandora it's got bluetooth you can use hands-free it's nice you get two two double door closets it's got huge amounts of closet space it's got a furnace it's got 39 gallons of fresh water 39 black 37 or 39 gray and 37 black it's got a big shower for bigger people that you can actually sit down let me get on this side you can actually sit down and a big person can get in that shower it's a nice feature Another cool thing, if you really want to tell how a travel trailer is built, pick up the bed. That'll tell you everything you need to know. You lift up the bed of a travel trailer and you look at how it's built. You see how all this wood is curved? It's all screwed. It's all, it's all dowel pocket screws and glues. There's no press board, no particle board, and no staples. That's one thing you'll never find in Airstream. So you can tell by all, this is the main feature, how you tell on any travel trailer how it's built. You just pick up the bed. You have map lights. A lot of people have CPAP machines. They have nice headers. You got nice wardrobe closets on the side. Lots of storage. You get two fantastic fans in this coach. You also get a skylight and you get moonlights. What that fantastic fan does, it pulls 900 cubic foot per minute out of this coach. They also lift up this coach from those fantastic vent covers. When they pick this coach up at the factory, it's a full shell they lift this coach shell up by those fantastic vent covers. You got thermostat control for your AC, so you don't have to worry about getting up and down. And the bathroom, it's actually got a porcelain toilet. It's a standard residential porcelain toilet bathroom. So that's a neat feature. Another cool thing about this 27 footer here is the bed. This makes out a huge bed and this table dinette makes a huge bed as well. So you can sleep guests. You don't have to worry about being crunched up. It sleeps a lot of people. This is your microphone for your Bluetooth. It's a little microphone up here. You can run your Bluetooth hands-free, talk on your phone and whatnot. Ultra leather fabric. This has got memory foam in it. It's very soft and they actually do 180,000 rub test on this ultra leather. So it's a very, very comfortable high-end leather just to recap a few things about the Airstream it's the number one uh, built travel trailer in the industry it's an aluminum superstructure it's gonna last a lifetime and it has the highest resale value in the industry I own an Airstream I'm sold on them and you should be too if you want to see one come check it out at our lot or online